so I wrote this book to be like water kind of as a culmination of my understanding of Chinese medicine and coming to know myself really and I've found that the more I'm able to just be like water meaning not fight with the things that I encounter in my life to find a way around and through them um, to be calm to be soft and yet persistent <laughs> um, it's written in two parts mm. um, so I wanted to I I have been a longtime teacher of Chinese medicine um, so I can, I'm very well practiced in getting in front of a room and teaching Chinese medicine. You know, here's the theory and writing down the outline and all that. I didn't want to do that in this book because I, I wanted um, people who know nothing about Asian medicine to be able to read it and relate to the concepts of Tao, um, to the concepts that are in the Neijing without spelling it out as this is Chinese medicine, here's what we think, this is how you do it. So the first part are really just um, stories from my life that illustrate different ways of being like water. So for example, there's a chapter called Obstacle Illusion, and it's, it's about how my nature is to fight against things. If I don't like them, I'm quite an activist and I'm very rebellious. <laughs> That's my nature, but it doesn't work very well um, for me. When I had to find a way of not reacting to things as an obstacle, how can I just respond to things as they are and keep moving forward? So there's, there's an essay on that. Then at the end of every essay, I offer a suggestion of some Taoian practices that reflect on that nature of water. But then we discover what happens when we just let it go, let the obstacle go. 